to turn your eyes to the skies and try to get a peek of the Perseid meteor shower. It's peaking today and NASA experts say in previous years, this shower has produced 40 to 50 meteors that you can see per hour, but this year you may not see as many. NASA says this is because the shower is happening soon after the August full moon and that the light from the moon will make meteor spotting more difficult. This year you might get around 10 to 20 meteors per hour. So Chris, let's talk with you about this. A good chance to see the meteor shower, hopefully. Whenever we talk about meteors though, I just wanna make sure they're not gonna be too big. No, don't worry about it. It's nothing <laughs> to be concerned about. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit of a letdown to be honest with you, Melissa. And you mentioned part of the reason why we're in that waning gibbous moon, which means a fairly bright moon. In addition to that, here locally, we're gonna have some cloud covering and some isolated storms. So uh, this isn't anything I'm gonna get all that excited about, but typically one of the better meteor showers hours per year. Uh, it has rates of 30, 40, even up to 50 meteors per hour. Some of the years it could have uh, a north of 90 to 100. We're not expecting anything like that. It could be significantly less due to the fact that we're going to have poor visibility. But the peak of it is going to be tonight, August 12th into the 13th. And it doesn't mean it's just tonight. So if we get a few nights later this week, you perhaps still could catch a few shooting stars from the Perseid meteor shower. So look in the northeast direction if we do get clear skies. Now, one thing that's interesting about this Sometimes, occasionally, these meteors can burn in different colors or at least hues of different colors, and it depends on the chemical composition of those meteors and where they're vaporized up in the atmosphere. So if it is a red glow, it is due to oxygen or nitrogen that is either in the atmosphere or perhaps even some of the chemical uh, composition of the meteor itself. If it has more of a purple glow, calcium may be involved, and that greenish glow, which is very common, may mean magnesium, nickel, or blue could mean iron. So if you do have a chance, clear skies would be necessary away from city lights. Give it a look later this week, but overall the Perseid meteor shower not expected to dazzle this year around.